Hey everybody, I'm Bob. Welcome to Golf League Tracker. In this video, we're going to talk about league settings, uh, how to change them, and some tricks to help you find the setting that you're looking for. So I am in a two-player test league, and the first thing you need to know is that not all settings are available for all league formats. For example, if you run an individual player league, you won't see any of the team settings that are within Golf League Tracker. Uh, if you're a 9-hole league, you won't see any of the 18-hole settings which are in Golf League Tracker. For example, there's point settings which um, are different between individual leagues and two-player team leagues and 9-hole leagues and 18-hole leagues. But what I'm going to show you here is um, you know, consistent throughout all leagues. You just won't find the same settings necessarily. So you log in as administrator, go to administration and then League Setup, and then click on League Settings. And there's two different things you can do. You can go directly to Change League Settings, which is where you can go and, and view and, and change any of your settings. Or if you want a quick way to find out how your points are set up, you can click on Point Setting Summary and choose Only Show with Values Yes, and it will only show you point values that are configured. And this is a really quick way to find, you know, if your points aren't calculating the way you think they should, um, you can see if there's some points that are set that maybe doesn't apply to your format of play. Okay, so I'm going to go back here to League Settings. This is your breadcrumb. This is called your breadcrumb. And you can click on um, any of these links here, and it takes you back to that portion of the, the navigation. So I'm back in League Settings, and I'm going to click on Change League Settings. So the first thing it does, by default, it pulls up every setting that is available for your league. And we can um, find some settings quicker by changing the Category filter, where it says Setting Category. And if you click on that, it will list all the different categories which are available uh, for your particular league. If you are a handicap only league, there's um, fewer fewer settings in here than you'll see in this demo. For example, you don't have anything as far as points go um, or scheduling, things like that. So if I wanted to look up, um, for example, scorecard options, I can click on my setting category, scorecards. And then it will show you, in this case, four different settings that are available. Uh, when printing your scorecards. If you need to make a change, you can click on the edit box and it will bring up the description uh, with the title, um, the different options. This is a yes no box and then I can just click on the new option and say save and then the change is done. And you can see here it says the value is yes and it was changed. This is today's date, March 25th, 2024. You can also see the history of a particular um, setting. Uh, you can click on the change history icon and it will show you um, what it went from and to. So it went from zero, which is no, to a one, yes, on uh, 325. If I made the change for you, if you contacted support and I made some adjustments, uh, this changed by Golf League Tracker admin would be checked. If it's unchecked, that means you made the change. Okay, I can just hit escape here or this X in the upper right. Um, so let's go back to all categories. Uh, like almost every report in Golf League Tracker, you can click on the header to sort by that column. So by default, it's going to sort by the name of the setting. But if I wanted to look it up by ID, I can click on the ID column, and now it will go from low to high. And if I click on it again, it'll go from high to low. Um, this is handy for not only finding settings, but if you want to see what you changed recently, click on the last change date. Um, if I click on it once, it's going to show things which haven't been changed yet. If I click on it again, it's going to find the most recent to the oldest changes. So if I go to my search box, I can start typing text, and it will filter my results, the current results, by that 
uh, by that filter. So if I typed in, for example, best ball, it's going to find every setting that is either the title has best ball in it or best balls in the description. And then you can go and edit this as needed. Uh, if I typed in uh, max strokes, it will then find maximum strokes or, or actually the, the text max stroke uh, in any of these settings here. I can also type in an ID if, um, let's clear that out for a second. If I wanted setting number 127, I could just type in 127 here. And again, it's going to find anything that says 127 in the description or in, um, there, there's some internal flags that it also searches on that you don't see. Uh, and that's why this, this one popped up here. But now I found setting number 127, and I can go and edit that. All right, I hope that helps in changing your league settings. If you have questions about specific settings, feel free to uh, contact support or look in the help docs, and um, I'm sure it will be in there. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.